Welcome back, everybody. A very hot trend in the culinary world right now is the color purple. Coincidence? Maybe. And a main source of it is what's called ube, or it's a purple yam found in the Philippines. So where better to try it out than Calzada in St. Paul? Owners Leia Ramundo and John Ocado are here with The Scoop. Thank you guys for being here. Thank Good morning. Good How's morning. it going? What's up? Great. So we, we are going to show everyone about um, the ube pancakes. So ube pancakes. So you use this sort of purple sweet potato and you put it in all these awesome con confections and yep. pastries, etc. So what are we going to do? So far we've got some buttermilk, we've got some milk, we've got some eggs. And then this is the ube halaya. So it's a, it's a cooked purple yam. So you cook the yam. What do you do? Bake it or? Uh, you, you can boil them. Yeah, boil it. Or you can or you actually buy, like a, buy it ready made too. Okay, but you mash it up. So if people want to do this at home, you, well, first of all, where can you find it? So it, it's, it's the select stores you can find it, but uh, Schwanger uh, on University in St. Paul has yeah. it. Asian you have to go to Asian store, market, yeah. Asian market. And look for the, the purple yams. Yeah, Trung from uh, Midtown Global Market was here, and we were talking about that store mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to make your own pho at home, right. this yes. is where you go to buy the, like, the already prepackaged seasoning to make a good pho. The key... The, the ube extract. That's ube where you're going to get the extract. really nice color, really beautiful flavor. Kind of looks like a, like a blueberry uh, syrup. Kind of, yeah, exactly. It's dark, some melted butter. And then I'm going to have my dry mix. Here I'm going to switch to a spoon. What's in your dry mix? So the dry it's mix standard? is standard dry mix. It's flour, baking, uh, leavener, mm -hmm. sugar, salt. Okay. I'm going to switch to a, a spatula because I don't want to, I don't want to knock out all the lumps. Yeah. I want it to be a little bit lumpy. It's going to rise nicer. Rise, if you, yeah. Nice that's and a, tall. That's the key for making pancakes. So yeah. If you want really ploppy pancakes, yeah. yeah, you don't really mix it. You don't very. have to kill it while you're, no. while you're mixing it. Yes. Yeah. You know how many people, if the Vikings win today, are going to make this <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> They shouldn't make it. They should come to Calzada. Yeah, they all yeah, yeah, me. They <laughs> when you sell out, yeah. okay? Not going to happen. Not, not going to okay. happen. I'm 0 for 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks beautiful. What do you think is it about the ube that makes it so, uh, I guess, enticing to cook with? Is it the color? Is it the flavor? Um, I think for me it's like the color, the flavor, because they very uh, taste like very earthy. It's very, um, it's like... They have so much flavor to it. Does like, it taste like a traditional yam, or does it have a different I, flavor? What I tell everybody is it has strong birthday cake vibes. Mm -hmm. Birthday cake vibes. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like a really, yeah. really good sugar cookie. Oh, interesting. Uh, and, you know, one of the things we have here is, 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 a, is a ube sugar, is a ube crinkle uh, cookie. Crinkles. Okay. But it has a really strong butter cookie flavor. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So you make the traditional pancake like this, right? You yep. kind of flop it in there. You don't have to, like... No, you want it kind of, you want it raggy, you know, that's, again, you're going to get the best lift out of it. Uh. It's going to make a really tender pancake. Okay. Same as mixing a cake. You don't want to overmix a cake. So. All right. We got about two minutes yep. left. So what do we want to do via the magic of TV right now? Through the magic of television. Yep. Um, I'm going to start decorating this and, okay. and Leia can kind of talk about the other things that we have here. Sure. Yeah, so I'm going to start uh, over here. So this one is the La Chaplan. It's the Ube La Chaplan. Um, we put flavor there, like the ube, and this one is... So that's like normal flan, but it's yes, got the ube, the ube flavor okay. to it. Right. And then this one is a smash um, purple yam with laing. So laing, we use kale. Mm. Some um, some people, they use star leaves, uh, get the dry leaves. Yeah. But we use the kale. So that's a savory dish. Yeah, it's a savory dish. Almost yeah. like a play on mashed potatoes. And it goes both ways. Yeah, ube is great for everything. And I learned something that that looks like saffron. But it's red pepper, you say, yeah? Yeah, yes, yeah. All right, good we, trick. You got Yeah, we, we try to use uh, local ingredients um, in, in Minnesota. Okay, this and this look dynamite. What What is this, like a layer cake? It's a crepe cake. Um, I made a crepe cake with ube. It's a gluten-free crepe cake. Uh, so it's like 30 layer yeah, of the yeah, slice yeah. of the cake. So delicious. So every slice has fillings on it. And then um, on the top, we put a coconut. So ube and coconut, they're really good together. Interesting. Hey, tell me about the restaurant. How's so it been going? It's, it's been doing well. Um, we are very grateful that we have, uh, you know, especially loyal customers. Yeah, we got some video of it right now. So it's yeah. modern Filipino. Is that would you just describe yes, it as? Yes, it's a modern Filipino. Non-traditional. Non-traditional. Yeah. Okay. How's business? Good. Good. Yeah? Good. Good. Yeah, it's People have been really receptive. Awesome. Great. What'd you so, do to dress the pancakes? So to dress the pancakes, uh, add banana, mango, the mahapano, which is a young coconut, 
uh, some palm fruits, and then uh, the, the ube ice cream, our famous ube ice cream. We oh, make that yeah, in house. Yeah, a lot okay. of people and really then, love that. <laughs> this is a little, a little on right, the thick side. Go. What do you but got? We finish it off in, in lieu of a syrup. Oh, it just dear. gets sweetened condensed milk, which mm -hmm. is a, a very uh, oh widely used ingredient. Low calorie. Yeah. Low does this calorie. dessert come with an EKG? It does not. <laughs> All right, I got to serve this to my friends over here. Can All I? Right. Absolutely. Can I bring it over? Please do. Please do. You guys are going to have to go in with your hands because I don't have a fresh fork on you. FaceTime, Bobby. That's beautiful. Isn't that wow. beautiful? Mm. What an awesome secret ingredient that so many people are starting to get aware of. Well, thank yeah. you guys so much. I just thank want to tell you. everybody that Calzada is located on Selby Avenue in St. Paul, right? Correct. Yes. Awesome. And we got a link to the ube pancake recipe on care11.com, and you get all these other sweets and awesome stuff at Calzada. So thank you guys so much thank for coming. Thank you. In. I really appreciate you sharing this.